So this is an SPDT input board, 32-bit because I ordered a bag of 200 of these, I may as well use them. 32-bit input board for digital signals. It'll give high or low, not tri-state, so it's always high or low. There's another input board I'm making, which is using DPST switches. The benefit of that one is that it's going to have LEDs attached directly to it so that you can see which lights are on. You know, it's good for video making, really. So I can display my inputs as well as my outputs. But this will work just fine, at least for the moment, because I can plug these signals into an output board and show them that way. So it's, it's fine. And it's also easy to work with myself because I can just look at the switches. So I did this one first because it was easier. And the circuit is obviously just this. You have whatever power in. It's just physical switch, so you can put whatever signals you want. But you've got one signal and another signal that switches between, and there's the output, and you're done. So here's a different angle you can see. Here you can see the, the pins better. So I've got the 32 pins here, and then the 32 switches here, and it's in the same layout. I made sure like these eight are the bottom eight, or, or you could say that these four, because these pins are in... Let's see. See how it's four? So each of these columns of switches goes to each of these columns of pins. If you're wondering why I have jumpers running over the board and under it, because here they are under it, this is what happens when you, when you say to yourself, I can just put this in here and figure out the circuit later. So I put the switches in, I put the pins in to make it look pretty, and then I say, now what? <laughs> So it may be hard to see, but basically you've got your positive and negative here. So here's your positive and negative pins coming from the other side. I bust them all the way down, and then I ran them like, like across the switches. So one side has, let's see, this is positive. So you'd have positive bust across, negative bust across, positive, negative, positive, negative across the rows. And when I did that, when I bust it like that, I ended up putting the bus over where I was going to put the jumpers underneath. I was going to jumper it underneath. I ended up blocking where I was going to put the jumpers. So then I said, well, do I want to unsolder, desolder everything or just do something else? As usual, I hate undoing work. And so I did something else. So the jumpers connect to the middle pins of the switches, all the, all the middle pins. And then I was going to run all of them up between the pins, but they ended up being too thick. So I ran two above and two below, and then underneath, you just get them connected like this and connected like this. So here are the pins they're connected to, and here are the switches. You can see the buses running across, and here's the jumpers from the other side. Now, one thing I discovered, I didn't take a picture of a switch, which was dumb, but the switch, so the switch body is not metal, because obviously it's not, because then the whole thing would just be shorted, but it has a metal cover. Here, I found an image of it. So the body of the switch is not metal, but this covering is, I assume for rigidity or something. But do you see these flaps underneath? These flaps actually come relatively close to these pins. And I was not aware of this. Well, I mean, I was aware of it, but I didn't think of it. A couple of these actually managed to short one or positive or ground to the body of the pin or the body of the, the switch because enough solder had gone up the leg that it just barely was touching the case. So it was shorting one of the supply pins to these little flaps. And it's, it was a deuce of a time trying to figure out what in the world was going on. So now imagine this. Luckily, it was only two of them, but I had to move the wires and desolder switches, use my little solder sucker, get everything off, and resolder very carefully. Like I said, fortunately, it was only two of them. But just think about, you can see where the, this one is pushed over is probably one of the ones that I had to desolder and resolder. But yeah, that was a bit of a pain. So be aware of that. That's something to think about. When you're soldering physical things like this, think about the chassis because that was a gotcha. But anyway, that's it. I think it turned out pretty. I like to think of these boards I'm making partly as art, a little bit as art. But yeah, 32 bits are ready to go whenever you want. Pretty neat. But I've saved the best for last in this three-part series. I'll do... I haven't made the DPST input board with lights, tri-state, because that one is going to require a fair bit of woodworking. So for now, I'll be seeing you.